Simulation of Multi-Level Parking Payment System Using RFID in Silence ISD Parking lot being essential People use vehicles for a variety of reasons these days, including transportation to work, schools, and other activities. On the other hand, parking lots are becoming increasingly important in meeting drivers' needs for safety and organization. Parking lots can be found in malls, schools, and other public places, and they are an essential part of any business. The problem we encountered was when we were coding, we had difficulty increasing and decreasing the number of vehicles when someone came in and out. RFID-based payment RFID is a modern method of payment for vehicle tolls that is also applicable to the study's goal. It can be a great convenience and time saver for the customer. Real-time parking slot availability notification The system updated the board in real time with information about parking lots availability, such as how many vehicles the parking lot can accommodate to save customer time looking for available spaces. For the tools, we used RFID, Silings, ISE, Sensor, and Motor to help us create our desired system. We used RFID as the automated payment system to add convenience and save time for the user. The automated parking system is coded using Silence ISE. It is used to generate Verilog code and test benches in order to achieve the study's goal. Sensors are used to keep track of how many cars enter and exit the parking lot, as well as to scan RFID cards for payment. To avoid problems in the establishment, a motor is used as the opening and closing for entrance and exits. The code is not overly complicated. The goal is to create an automated parking system that includes a car counter, payment system, and entrance and exit security. The code begins with the system's variables being set to the given value. It specifies the condition for the parking lot's entrance or availability. The available slot will be displayed on the monitor based on the maximum value for the parking space and the car counter or vehicles in the parking lot. If the RFID balance or amount is less than the payment amount, the entrance motor will deny the vehicle entry. If the RFID balance or amount is greater than the payment amount, the entrance motor will display the available balance or RFID and allow access to the parking lot entrance. After entering the sensor, the monitor will be displayed the number of spaces. RTL High-Level Design There are three data inputs. The RFID amount is 10 bits and the other inputs are scalar. On the right side is the 7 outputs where there are 3 scalar and 4 vectors with 6 bits. RTL Low-Level Design Specifies the operations of the parking lot's entrance, car counter and exit as well as the connectivity of each function. It also shows the pre-optimized design of the parking system as well as the counters, gates, and process flow that have been used in the codes. This is a block chart and flow chart of our system which shows the flow of the system and how it processes. Simulation We have created test benches tailored to system test cases that we think are possible to encounter situations. This is a table of test cases that we think the system may encounter. First is available parking slot with sufficient balance which means the car may enter the parking garage. Next is available parking lot without sufficient balance, which means the car has to go back and load his RFID first. Then the third one without available parking slot, it means no vehicle can enter and there is no need to check if there is still a balance. And last is the outgoing vehicle, where the back sensor will be on, then the available slot on the LCD will update immediately. This one is connected to the entry because if the incoming vehicles can be counted, then the exiting vehicles must also be counted. Recommendations Image acquisition in order to save vehicle plate numbers for parking management. If something goes wrong, the vehicle can be tracked down using the image stored in the system's database. Detection and feature extraction module for face recognition Face recognition could be added to the proposed system in the future to save driver spaces for safety purposes and, if possible, to offer discount to regular customers.